Welcome to my base. I'm going to my comments and try to keep it down. I need to under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people who believe in smoke, people who believe drink, people who believe in people who believe DMT. If you have any comments, questions, and thoughts, or rush that you put it down below. Okay. Listen to this discretion. It's advice. Okay. Because I'm not your average man. I'm not your beat up man. Um. So today's topic for today hmm, will be about uh, clip manipulation. Okay, I was just I, like I said before a little while ago when I just made the, the video a little while ago um, about uh, Kevin Samuels. Okay? He was talking about clips. Um, there's a lot of people who don't watch the full video of something, and then there's those people out there who like to manipulate the masses to make you look like a bad person. Because of one thing you said, they'll take it out of context. There's professionals out there who take certain things you say, alter the video, and make you look like a jackass and a fool. And then basically, you know, if you watch the video yourself, you know you didn't say that, okay? But I know I say all sorts of crazy shit. If I said something, it'd probably be out of uh, entertainment purposes. I say, hey, I didn't mean that, but I, I could have said that shit. So what, okay? But guess what? I didn't mean it now. But you got to think about it like this. If you ever see a video out there and you know that they do it to Trump, they do it to a whole lot of individuals. They clip things, they edit it, you know, just, you know, make mouth movement. There's a lot of crackers and Milanos who would do some shit like that, most likely so. And they'll try to, you know, use those weapons uh, against the masses, against, that's why I don't want to be popular. It's like a waste of time. I'm like, I didn't say that shit. Who said that shit? I'm like, what are you talking about? You heard, you saw a video, it's like you being religious or some shit. I'm like, you hear no monkeys, see no monkeys, speak no monkeys out the fucking window. That shit is gone. Okay. So I, I recommend all you guys and peoples and do this to stop listening to clips and videos entirely just stop listening to them and just talk to the person individually in their inbox okay you know you could come to my inbox I, I i give counsel to hundreds of people i'm sorry now there's people out there who just say oh, i doubt i don't know because they're scared okay they're scared but they'll rather give their money to a fucking charlatan in a church okay <laughs> i'll be on the facebook commenting people and shit and, and another thing too i want people to stop taking things to heart when someone writes things down in the comment section, please, babies, because what happens is that it can get misconstrued. If I say, fuck you, you don't know how, which way I'm saying, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I could be saying, I'd say, I want to fuck you because you're a female, okay? You know, but, you know, if you say fuck you to a guy, you know, and then I, if you say fuck me to me and you're a dude and I'm looking on your page, I'm like, what do you mean you want to fuck me? Are you gay or some shit, you know? You know, you're just making it. <laughs> you see, you should never watch or look at something as face value. You should never. It's anecdotal over scientific method. Okay, we got that, yeah, guys. Scientific method has a four point something percent human marginal error. Okay, and y'all guys gotta start doing some more research. I really believe y'all should stop listening to the media and start using more somatics and common sense in your fucking research. Okay, because. You read something, you see something, and then you hear something. It doesn't matter what that person says or what she says or what. This is how the court of law works. The court of law works through bias. They they basically listen to what you say in the past and they convict you over what you fucking say. And that's terrible because you're going to need some strong lawyers because you don't want any biased hearsay being convicted on something because you at that moment you was fucking upset. So you go to jail because you said something three years ago. You know, that that's... That's this terrible judgment, okay? And of course, you can keep saying what you want, cause I, I could just, I make myself crazy, okay? I like to express myself in an angry way. I say some uh, obnoxious type shit, like I killed thirteen women. So the fuck what? They disappeared. I ain't got no evidence of them. I don't know. I remember, remember, there's a movie coming out right now on Stars, and you know, I, that's I, I feel somebody took my idea and shit. I said, this is guy who just forgets shit. Okay, but then he killed all these people. He killed like over 40 people and shit, and he forgot and shit. So how are you going to convict the person who forgot? You're going to have to find evidence, okay, right? 
right? And so I'm just wondering how the hell are you going to catch a person who forgot all of the women he killed? I could have that problem. I don't know, but I ain't saying shit. <laughs> I think I said too much. I guess I'm going to jail then, right? No! It's not that easy putting a schizo in jail and I ain't get, you ain't got no evidence, okay? <laughs> or a magic man or a voodoo man, okay? But you know what? The moral what I'm saying here is that it's not about watching what you say. It's about who's perceiving you. What liberal, most of the time it's a liberal or biased, subjective, you know, individual who's want to interject something against you because of the fact that you said something you just, they didn't like. And this is why I didn't want to be popular. It's like, damn, I got so many people hating on me, but you ain't even asked no questions, motherfucker. You ain't even asked no, you ain't even come to me, but you were talking. That's called deformation of character. And you can get in trouble for that shit. If I can link, a, you, 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 you shared a picture with someone and I can find out how you dox me and shit, I can get your ass. Okay, you just got to be smart enough to know where the origin came from. And the next thing you know, you defamated my character, even though you, if you did not intentionally mean to. It's the same thing as you 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 trolling somebody and you telling the person commit suicide, but you didn't mean it that way. You could have said it in another way. You could say you don't want to commit suicide, but you can't if you just you tired of life. You write that shit down, people will think you're just a mean person. But if you say it, it's completely different. Okay? But if you can articulate yourself very well. Or don't articulate yourself at all. It can mean a lot for your downfall. That's why I don't want to be popular like that. I'd rather be popular in a more introverted way. You know what I'm saying? A more eccentric way, a more abstract way. Because I, I just, I, I, I really, I really fear for um, uh, Kevin uh, Samuels. You know, so he gets all this popularity. He might get a lot of hate and just stop doing what he's doing. But anyway, if he says it's a profession and he's good at it, and let him do it, okay? Because I watch Kevin and Kevin um, Samuel's stuff all of the time, okay? And he's alpha to core, man, to core. But other than that, what else is there to say about stop taking clippings? And, and don't even watch the video like that. Because sometimes there'll be some things that said and you'll get it misconstrued. I remember I was put, I was on this radio show with my boy. His name is Joshua. T, T, I think it's Joshua. Josiah or some shit like that. And I tell I keep telling him, don't put me on the air with your beta females who don't want to learn and don't want to be humble. Don't put me on the air. And he put me on the show and this bitch was talking at me. I'm like, I, I can't stand when women talk at me. That's a backhand waiting to happen. I'm just when I talk gentle, they get me sometimes they get me mixed and screwed because I talk really quickly. So they don't say they don't ask enough questions. So I the woman got offended somehow. And she was like, nah, 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 nah. I said, shut, I said, shut your pussy stink ass up, bitch. And he, he was laughing. He was laughing, too. And he was like, because he's a simp, okay? And so he put me on this show. I said, dude, don't put me on your show with a bunch of uh, knucklehead beta alphas and shit. I don't, I don't have time for that shit. I remember I was on this one fucking show. They was talking about some intellectual shit. I said, what do you mean by intellectualism? Does do you do what do you mean as intellectual is like how well you can memorize things? Okay, are you talking about that? I'm talking about simple common sense. So, intellectualism can can take up multiple fields of different things because I'm into Renaissance, right? So I'm an intellectual field of knowing all sorts of things. I'm I'm what do you call them guy a jack of all trades, okay, but a master of none. That's me, okay. As you read my description, okay, but you got to be careful. That's what I'm saying. Like you, they put you on the show. And then they want you to stay on the show, but they don't want to pay. It's lots of people who they just want to have their own way with you and shit. And then if they don't have their own way, they get mad and try to show off and shit. Don't do that shit. That's There's a lot of people out there like that. But other than that, that's all I wanted to say. Don't take it for with a grain of salt. And do take it with a grain of salt sometimes. If you take it with a grain of salt, at least contact the person at least directly. I remember I met the producer of fucking Red Pillar, and this dude came up on my inbox. We had a video chat, and he just shut his mouth real quick. I told him, hey, you know, I love you, and you got upset because you're a pussy, okay? And he said that. I, I said to him, have you ever got your ass kicked by a short motherfucker, okay? I'm not a Neapolitan complex. I'm just a happy, Joel, lucky person, and I know how to talk, and you just don't. You created your real pill because you have many problems with women. I don't have problems with women and shit. I don't have problems like MGTO. I don't I don't even join that shit. I don't even know what the fuck that shit is about. Now I do now. I do know now, okay? Damn, okay. 
But other than that, that's all I really wanted to say, you guys. Um, please um, keep your nose out of people's businesses. If you put your nose in the wrong person's businesses, you can get yourself cursed or hurt or even killed, okay? That's why I kind of tell people all of the time, investigate, investigate, research, investigate, investigate, research, and keep yourself safe just in case. Always think in the back of your head, okay, this person is saying something about me. Think like that for everybody, and then you're on your way. Always think paranoid. Peace.